then we, we try to determine the depreciation rules. There's lots of depreciation rules as how fast you can write things off, when you can write them off at a rental property, uh, they make you write them off slower. If they're used in your business, sometimes you can get a, up to $250,000 write off in the first year of equipment bought in the business. So when we meet with clients at year end, we'll sit down with them uh, and say, now look, here's where you are. Do, do you need any equipment? Do you need anything that can reduce your taxes this year? And we'll go ahead and, and tell them to speed it up. Sometimes if their income's real low this year, we may tell them to wait till next year. We can elect after year end to spread the depreciation out rather than claiming it all at one time. All these are elections, again, that are that you need an accountant to help you with as compared to doing it um, on TurboTax and not understanding the consequences of the various elections you're making here. The uh, deductions for equipment, you're able to write off all the small business equipment you write off immediately if you want to. Uh, you must use it at least half time in the business. So if you've got uh, a um, copy machine that you're buying in your office and you make personal copies on it too in order to claim it for depreciation purposes, it's got to be used more than one half for the business. And it's the same thing with a car. In order to claim a car for the as a business uh, item, you've got to use it more than one half for the business. So that gets into the mileage and and things there. Office supplies. Uh, basically, you can claim uh, various deductions for supplies and things, even if you're not claiming it's an office in the home and your supplies you buy. One little trick we use, if you uh, can bring food and I, I know Bill does this. If you bring food into your office for your employees, it's a supply. You can claim it 100%. If you take you know, someone out to eat, then you're going to claim 50% of it. So a big difference there as to where you eat the food even, if you're claiming food. And so quite commonly, I'll have meetings in my office and bring food in just to make the government pay a few more bucks of the, uh, of the cost. I'm making it tax fully tax deductible rather than 50%.